Josh and Dean Queens of the Stone Age are here. Welcome back. It's nice to see you guys. Thanks. It feels good to be here and seen and held close. Nice. Things just started to buzz around. So while while you guys think you're on this decline, in the outside world, we're hearing names like Trent Reznor. We're hearing Sir Elton John. We're hearing Nick's back in Queens of the Stone Age. Straight from the horse's mouth, too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so... That's what made it that much more awkward is that um, if you were outside of the Queens of the Stone Age... It looked like an amazing place to be. Yeah, it really did. It, it looked like this phenomenal situation was a Bruin, and we weren't just back. We were going to blaze your face off. Yeah, but if you were inside Queens... It was really rough. You still seem to be outside, but you get on the radio. The fact of the matter is, is that we still are outside, Yeah. and we don't really have relationships with alternative rock radio and active rock and all this stuff they all think we're working for someone else and it's weird because we're not working for any of them so it's like and that translates out into festival land too and go play festival that really we don't belong what kind of shows well made in america yeah uh, jay-z that guy's a kook you know he he has his he has a security like frisking the bands on the way in that's gotta be so, so annoying well, I just told him if you open up my bag and we're not playing, and so I guess it's up to you now to decide whether I'm playing or not. That all those minutes away from your kids, the stakes are just so much higher. Or it's just, are you constantly playing the is it worth it game in your head? I feel, you know, maybe maybe even more motivated to do it because, you know, everybody has to uh, aspire to something. You want to show, you know, show your kids someday, you know, that even though you have to make a ton of sacrifices, and for us, we're making huge ones being away from them. But, you know, it's kind of the, the reason we're doing it, so that they'll have a you know, better life. And At some point, you got to have to ask yourself, are those things that never can be done again uh, strong enough to stop you from trying to convince people you don't even know if music's all right? Yeah. 